What's going on guys? Real Touch Gmail here back with another game maker tutorial and today I will be showing you how to create advanced top-down AI that finds a path from its point to your player's point or whatever you'd like, the shortest path possible, and it gets you there. So if you've ever made like a zombie game or something that involves a lot of walls and a lot of things that can get into the the enemy's way and your enemy was kind of coded like this MP potential step to OBJ player X, OBJ player Y, speed of 3, check all true you make it something like this as you can see it's trying to find the shortest distance from its point to the player but it's not accounting for whatever is in front of it it's just trying to get there so we're gonna fix this by it dodging all these walls and still getting there as short as possible so if I went ahead and deleted this code here, what we're going to do is we are going to create a grid. So I'm going to say grid equals MP grid create. The left will be zero, the top will be zero, then the H cells will be room width divided by 32 and the vertical cells will be room height divided by 32. Then the cell width and the cell height will be 32 and 32. So that just created a grid of our entire room there. So if you went into the editor and you see we, our snap X and our snap Y is 32 by 32. If I can drag this. So now we've created a grid that kind of looks like this. As you can see so now what we're going to do this opens up is now what we're going to do here is I'm going to say path equals path add because we need to create a path from where it's at and where the player's at so now what we say is mp grid add instances and the id will be path the object will be obj wall and the precision will be one and you could say one or true it doesn't they're the same thing all right now what we're going to do is i'm going to say mp grid path i'm going to the id will be grid the path will be path the x start will be x the y start will be y and our goal will be obj player dot x and obj player dot y and then allow diagonal will say one to true so we do want diagonal motion in here now I say path start our path is path our speed is three our end action is going to be nothing because once it gets to the point we don't want it to do anything and absolute is one or true so with all this code this basically creates a path for our player to go on so it, now if we play the game what what, as you can see it does work and it's getting the shortest path possible without doing that messy thing over here and as you can see I, I can move the player and it still works so this is great this is very very good AI so go leave a like go and subscribe I hope you learned something in this and uh, yeah go ahead and check out my other channel in the description and go ahead and leave a like. Let's try 410 likes this time. It is pathfinding. I mean, how awesome is pathfinding? You know, so, and also you may, you may see that they stop. If it doesn't have a path, it's not going to do anything. If it can't find a path, which means your player's unreachable, which means your player gl glitch. So, yeah, let's try for 10 likes this time. It is pathfinding. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Peace.